what's up everyone hope y'all are having a great week today i want to talk to you about the first book i'm sewing in the um fall winter collection mccall's m7847 the sky i'm doing view a uh, like some of you might remember because i barely had enough fabric and the fabric is this hounds black and white hounds tooth um so I kind of wanted to do a different video and like bring y'all along with me as I'm sewing this. Um, it's not going to be so long. It's just going to be like a couple of clips and show you like the progress on it and what I've done so far. So I've already cut out all the pattern pieces and here's the pieces for this. So in the instructions it will show you like what pieces you need to cut out. So I'm doing view A so I needed to do uh, pattern pieces number one through seven and right here you can see it says coat a and coincidentally this pattern as you can see it's all the same coat it's just different lengths so basically you just cut it to the length you want it and so this is all the pattern pieces you need to cut and it's labeled here and then you can see abc and it shows you abc where to cut so the next thing I like to do before I sew is pin all the pieces on this mannequin. So here's the front facing, the front, and then I pin the back on here. And then right here is the upper and lower collar. And then right here is the sleeve. So this kind of just helps me map out where what pieces go and it kind of helps me go faster in my sewing process. Okay update on the jacket so far it's looking pretty good i sewed these the front and the back together and then i sewed the uh, front and the back side seams together on both sides so i kind of i like to refer to it as the shell of the jacket then i went and i surged the seams together right here so i surged the front and the back seams and the top seams together right here then i went on ahead and i top stitched so you have to look very closely you can see it right here that gray thread i top stitched that and i top stitched that on both sides of this um, jacket now i'm going to take the number three piece the under collar and I'm going to sew it onto the back. Okay, this look is complete. Since we talked last, I put on the upper and lower collar and I put the facing on this piece. So basically, it's just a piece of fabric that goes here and kind of up here on the inside so that way you'll have um, a piece of fabric right here so you'll see like on the right side of fabric it'll look nice and clean um, I also hemmed this and I had done a little bit of a wide hem and I um, serged that I like to serge all of my seams so that's the facing seam it goes all the way up um, and I also applied the put the sleeve on and I hemmed the sleeve which those threads need to be cut as you can see I surged everything in there um, and then I did top stitching here um, here here I think that's it besides the top stitching I did here and on the side um, like you saw earlier um, so what I need to do for this to be complete is I need to press. Um, the reason why is because you can see all these pucker wrinkles. That's just because it needs to be ironed out. Ironing is key to sewing, key to making your garment look from homemade to store-bought or even professionally made because it gets all these wrinkles out. Uh, you can see tons of wrinkles, especially on the hem down here. So that needs to be done. And then I need to cut the spare threads because there was a ton of spare threads. Um, the coattails, whatever you want to call them in the serger. Coattails. Um, 
usually I don't really cut them as I go I just kind of do it at the end um, and that's pretty much it so thanks for watching. Um, be sure to follow my blog at morgandavisdesigns.com. Um, subscribe if you're not already. Comment down below if you have any questions on the fabric I used or the pattern. And let me know if y'all have used this pattern and what you liked about it or what you didn't like about it. Uh, other than that, I'll talk to y'all soon.